Hey what's up guys, send us a game in here and today what I'll be doing is running through the tactics of the Siege of Algramar uh, Garrosh Hell Scream. For some reason on looking for raid, people just seem to find it really confusing and they get trapped or they get, I don't know, they just seem to not do it right. So this simple video is just going to be explaining to you, you know, the very core basics of the general tactics and general gist of things, alright? So um, yeah, come up first, we'll engage in the boss that's nothing special at the minute but one thing you do have to look forward to is everything that it all kind of culminates together at a certain point like you learn one thing then another thing happens and another thing happens and another thing happens and then before you know it everything's kind of culminating together do you know what I mean so at the minute yeah what we're looking for right now is the engineers it's something that's really super important in this whole raid as you can see it's the highlight the guy at the top there so it's not the best picture ever but you know for the early stages of this video I thought I might as well try and get it in because if you don't get rid of the engineers those things that come across those iron stars two of them come at the same time so you can't dodge them and say if you get hit in one and then you get hit in the other it's a complete wipe there's no point you carrying on because you'll have vital you know you probably have your hench tank that's still there one or two healers one or two DPS and it's just not enough to carry on with the rest of the raid so yeah they are super duper proper important so you gotta definitely make sure that you gotta keep an eye on them if you're a DPS, which is like I am because I hate the responsibility of something that's important, um, it is kind of semi your responsibility to go and, get to go and get the engineer there again. There's another little picture of him more clearly this time. Um, because, like I said, they will wipe. They will wipe the whole rain and go start again, obviously. Nobody loves a wipe. As you can see, that's coming across now. And I get caught in it, you know, some point later in the video. And it, it hits about two or 300k. So. Obviously, if you're a mage or something like that who's not got much stamina, or you know, it, it, it can kill you straight away. But that, that's that. That's a different story, anyway. But moving on, like I said, that's really super important. Coming up now is the introduction of the mounted ads. Don't ask me why they're so important, but for some reason, you just gotta kill them. <laughs> as well as anything, you know, for the for raiding and any kind of dungeons, you all know, as an experienced raider up to level ninety. The ads are pretty important. If you don't get rid of the ads, obviously you're gonna struggle at some point. So yeah, it's really important that you get them mounted ads ASAP. Even even the little ads, even the the, the foot the footmen, uh, they're equally as important. But a bit of AOE, you know, always helps. Um, kill weapons as well. Uh, this is for the ranged DPS. That's actually your responsibility. I'm a paladin, as you can see. I'm not the best. I'm not the best geared, but. Um, the range DPS are the ones that have got the weapons, got to, get, got to get the weapons. They are encased in like a purple swirl, but if any kind of like person steps in it, that, that hits damage straight away. Um, so yeah, it's really important to get them because if you don't get them, they'll just keep spawning. They'll just keep spawning again and again and again. And eventually, um, oh, there you go. <laughs> That's what happens when, yeah, when you get hit. And say if another one comes past, you get caught in the middle of it. And it's, like I say, it's just completely right. But yeah, going back to the weapons though. If um, if you don't clear them, more will sprout up. You've got less room, and eventually it'll take the whole room. And you know what I mean. Uh, coming up to the next phase, though, uh, for some reason you've just got to run. <laughs> the first time I was doing this uh, this raid, I was a bit confused as to why. But I'm not a hundred, still hundred percent certain on why you should. But I think more spawns, um, you know, more spawns kind of like spawn <laughs> yeah I don't know the little char objects the little char creatures yeah they, they keep popping up every now and again um, all throughout this and you know it's just pretty important to keep going because like I said I think the longer that you spend in that little corridor the more spawn I don't know as you can see on the screen now though is a little purple you know thing from the boss if you get in the middle of that again that's quite a good crit of damage on to you so you've got to do your best to try and avoid that um, it will go around the whole rink, so even range DPS, you, you, there isn't a um, there isn't a period of where you're not going to be involved with it. If you're standing in the same spot for the whole thing, that's pretty lucky if you don't get hit with it. But yeah, it's it's pretty simple. You just got to jump out of the way like I'm doing here, like I'm showing you guys. Okay, so coming up now is the AOE spell. Now there isn't much you can really do about it, but if you spread out and then come back in again, it might save you a bit. Of damage but this is where the healers have got to probably do some stacking healing or something like that um, or some AOE healing especially that um, so yeah that's that's another tactic say if you're a healer I can't really provide tactics for a tank or a healer but only primarily for what kind of goes on is what I'm useful for 
because like I said, I'm only a DPS and I don't like the responsibility of being a tank or anything like that, I'm not good enough yet. But, mind control, that's another thing that's super important. Again, it's the same, it's a similar kind of situation as the um, engineers. If you don't kill the mind con people under mind control, it is like playing fire with fire. Because they'll just mind control more people, and more people, and more people, and then before you know it, it's just you, all the mind control people in Garrosh. Like, it'll take over your whole squad, I'm not lying. Okay, so again, you just have to run. Um, you've got ads in front of your left, right, and centre, but you don't bother with them. Just as a DPS, you just carry on, because uh, they will either be killed by other people, or like I'm doing here, you just go straight up and get the last ads, because I can handle it, but then before you know it, people are coming in anyway and helping you out on that. Uh, but with a little bit of healing from myself, I could quite easily cope with them, no problem. But moving on now, once the ads have gone, you'll see the, the circle perimeter around the boss um, that will evade. And then it's a similar situation as the last kind of vision that you had. Um, the boss does have kind of like a, a long thing, I don't know what you call it. Uh, it's a long uh, pathway of damage. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what you call it, but yeah, that's, that's what happens in this one. Okay, yeah, so we're back down now. Uh, we just finished that little vision. Um, so I wasn't going to just show you all of it because like, again it's just us killing a boss but the upcoming tactics are kind of like where the culmination of everything comes together. So you'll see the weapons coming, you'll see the mounted ads coming, you'll see the mind control people like, like, like you can see on the screen now. You've got to run straight to the mind control because if you look at the, the health and stuff like that, they just inflict so much and especially without killing the weapons, they, they kill you quite a lot, I'm not going to lie. So again, raised DPS, it's really important for you to keep on the weapons, for the healers to keep on AoE healing during the AoE spell from Garrosh. Because again, the, it'll just it'll just wipe, you'll just wipe straight away. Um, but it's coming to a bit of a D-Day kind of like thing part of the um, part of the raid now. Everything just kind of comes all at once. And we didn't exactly nail it the first time. Well, this time should I say. Because a lot of the ranged DPS saw that Garrosh was going down and they just ignored everything and for someone who's in the middle of a battle it's hard to see what's going on around you for example the mind control people are popping up and um, other ads are coming in from different directions you don't really get that that kind of warning that ranged DPS do so if you're ranged DPS you are probably probably the most important thing in the raid so say if you do this on heroic or on a normal with your guild or whatever I would imagine that the tactics won't change a lot, but the importance of you will, you know, increase dramatically because obviously we, we are the, the people in, in the middle of the battle, but it's you guys that can see everything coming, do you know what I'm saying? So, again, it's really important to keep on track with the weapons and everything else that's going on. Right, so we're transported again to another vision or whatever you want to call it. Again, all you've got to do is just run, just run, 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 run. Um, it, I don't know if they're all the same order, like I think I've done this raid a few times, you know, obviously try to gear up and blah blah blah, and I'm not sure whether they follow the same format, so you'll do different ones in different orders, I'm pretty sure of it. So again, just get rid of all the ads that are in the way, there's not much of a big deal, again, it's just, it's a similar kind of setup though, you just kill the ads and then you obviously go on to the boss, onto Garrosh, and then jobs are good, and I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I, I, I don't know what I was doing then. <laughs> like, there was other ads to be killed and I just thought, I don't know, I'll just, I'll just go for a little, little walk around here. <laughs> but God knows why. But obviously, it didn't really pay off, didn't really, didn't really matter that much. But again, got to be careful of the, um, of the big purple spray thing that comes out from you in front of him. Okay, so back to the boss. As you can see, the health is going quite down considerably now. And like I said, like I commented on before, it was really annoying because the, the ranged and even the normal DPS like myself, they weren't focusing on the actual task at hand. They were just thinking, oh my god, Garrosh's health is going down, let's 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 kind of down him ASAP. When really there's not much rush. What, what, what are we all rushing for? End of the day, we'll all get there eventually. And um, we paid with many lives. Do you know what I mean? You know, by the end of it, you could see people dead, dying, 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 because everyone was just trying to kill him, just trying to nuke him ASAP and they were just ignoring absolutely everything so what you're seeing on the screen now is something that doesn't want to happen like look at all the weapons that are on the floor look at all the ads that are going on 
But we had a good healers, we had a good tank. So, you know, it, was, it wasn't too bad. It, it didn't matter that much. But anyway, they're the tactics for uh, Garrosh House Cream on the Siege of Ogrimmar LFR normal. Um, if you like it, it would be really nice if you could give a little like to the video. And if you want to see more of this kind of content, all you got to do is subscribe to my channel because we will be uploading quite a few. So, in the meantime, guys, I'll see you in a bit. That was well timed, that wasn't it? <laughs> That'll do. I'll just choke him to death and then just get off. <laughs> <laughs> yes.